Hey, welcome to Ant Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're not playing anything. We're not playing any games. Actually, we're not. <laughs> we're going to talk about the channel. I wonder if it scares me when we do these videos. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, As if we have some serious today, message. We're not playing any games. Yes. We just have updates. We just have updates. They're good <laughs> yeah, updates. This is good all updates. All good yeah, updates. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we, yeah. Every, you know, we think we like we do this like every year or so. We kind of have to all come together and. Um, just recap like where where we're going and kind of how the summer went, con season, all that kind of thing. Yeah. And, um, sort of like a year in review. It is. It's kind of like the state of the, the state of the lab. Yeah. The state of the antler. And I think if, if this is well received, I think we should probably consider mm -hmm. maybe doing this more often. Maybe once a quarter, yeah. like a quarterly yeah, review. Yeah, yeah. Quarterly I so. report, I think. The quarterly report. I think that sounds official. So fancy. It does sound official. <laughs> you want to have one more quarterly report in your life? Why not? <laughs> Might as well. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So if this is something you like, then let us know, and we'll we'll see about doing more of it. But um, um, I've got my book. I have like a whole agenda for this this ant lab meeting. Sure right does. Now. Um, but uh, and lots of exciting stuff. So I, we wanted to start off with we just got off of um, Gen Con and all that. Well, actually, Gen Con's the only con we went to. Only this con summer. so far. Yeah. We had a lot of stuff going on personally this summer. So. Yes, this is a very busy summer. Yes. As, as many of you have noticed and already. Pointed out. Oh yeah, update number one. So we did. We got married. So <laughs> we eloped. So it's official. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people kind of thought we were already married. So yeah. So you know, it wasn't a surprise at all. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. just kind of like okay. Well, that answers that question. So. Anyway. Um, so we, yeah, we had a really busy summer. We did hit Gen Con, um, and as a result, we were at a point where we were caught up in our pipeline of games mm -hmm. for the most part. And then we got back from Gen Con and we're just like completely we're way behind. booked we're now. Already behind, yeah. <laughs> so, I thought I we know. were getting close to being caught up. We were. No, we were. We window. were actually yeah. we were very close. Um, and we're going to be talking about like Kickstarter requests and, and doing Kickstarters mm -hmm. and stuff like that later on yeah. um, in this segment. Um, but I'm going to start talking with uh, start talking about our playthrough pipeline. All right. So we got going on. Let's move on to segment one. So the pipeline. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, I put playthrough pipeline on the agenda, yeah. and it makes it look like we're actually going to be playing pipeline, right. which we've already which done. Which already did. <laughs> um, I actually do have, I have my whole list right here of everything that we have in the queue. So in case you're interested um, and you don't like to be surprised, or you don't, um, you, know, you can't clearly see what's see stacked something. up behind us in yes, our shelves. And our we'll shelves. be talking about those shelves in a little bit, by the way. Yes. Um, so I think up next we have, um, we're going to have vinyl. Vinyl, yes. Which is not a new, 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 new release. Not new, new, new. Right, but, yeah. um, but a lot well, it's of new. Ones. It's new to us, certainly. It's totally uh, we've, new to we've us. We've already played it a few times, so we are yeah. we're anxious to get that yes. one done. Um, after that, I think we're going to do a Teotihuacan expansion. Expansion, which we haven't done the base, so I think yeah. bringing out the playthrough with the expansion is kind it's of gonna be, fresh. It should be yeah, enjoyable. That should be good. Um, we have Sierra West, right. which is over there. Right, that was a Gen Con acquisition. Yes, it was. Um, Watergate, which we mm. played. We played already. Really yes. fun. Really enjoyed that one. It was really okay. Don't I'll give away, don't okay, give well, away don't the give spoilers. Away the okay, Watergate, um, we're going to play Ragusa. Ragusa. Which we have not actually have not. played yet. I think so. it's still in shrink it behind us. Yeah. Shrink. All the shiny ones are in shrink. Yes. <laughs> Um, and then I don't know if Fleet Dice, I don't know if we're going to get to. We may, to may or may not play sure. through Fleet we don't Dice. Do the roll and rights on the channel, Not really. No, we have a few that we play, but we've yeah. never filmed playing. Just because mm -hmm. I think watching somebody play a roll and write yeah. is a little tough. Because everything, is, especially in that so one, because everything is so small mm -hmm. and there's a ton going on there in is, Fleet yeah. Dice. It's an, and in case we don't get to it, it's an awesome, awesome yeah. roll and write. It's probably my favorite right now. Mm -hmm. uh, really enjoyed that one. It's a long game. It is for long. a roll yeah. and write. It, it actually is really long. Uh, but I really I love to fleet the card game. So mm -hmm. fleet dice really love that. Yeah, one. super cool. Um, so then uh, after we get through those, I think we're gonna move on to. I'm really excited to do Everdell with the Pearl Book expansion because yes. Everdell was one we picked up last year. Never got around to filming it. Actually, we did film it. We did. We did film it. We what did happened? film it. Uh, it well, we won't talk about post? what happened last year that kind of shook up our whole channel, oh, and we ended that's up just right. not posting it, and, and went on sort of a hiatus for oh, a little while. Oh, that is right. Yeah, so we that did. we filmed we it film literally it. right at it the peak like, of all of that going on. So it ended up never getting like, edited, yeah, and it was just, just it it, yeah. so the, we've got to do that one again. Yes, but um, with the probe but with the yeah with the expansion. So that should be even better. Yeah, I like when the expansions come out. And we haven't played the base yet on the channel. On the channel, because yes. Because then we get a chance to like, 
We don't have to like. We show we the game in all of its glory. Yeah, exactly. Um, Empires of the North. Yes. Um, we have Foothills, which was interesting. We played that one as a two-player game, which mm -hmm. was really fun. Um, Call to Adventure, played which I'm very excited about. We played that it was four also player. fun. Yeah. We played it four-player. Um, and it's yeah, it's really really interesting game. Um, Atelier, that's how I'm saying it, mm -hmm. but. Altier, I guess, if you aren't French. Yes. Um, That's the art game, right? The art game. It's like a painter studio game. It's a painter so studio. Yes, we'll be doing that. Um, Jonathan Strange. Yes, we did play that. I know, and I um, people were kind of like, meh, I don't know if I like it, but I understand why people were saying that. Yeah. And we'll get to we'll get to that when we it reminded it, me right? of that game you picked out like a few years ago, where Which one? we were like chasing after that dude across Russia. Oh, Michael Stroganoff. Yeah, Michael Stro yeah. Stroganoff. <laughs> that wasn't Stroganoff. Like, that's what I call it, it reminded me kind of like that because it's like the two of us against one bad guy. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess not it was. at all mechanically, but right. just theme wise, it, it right. felt like that. But we'll, you'll see. It was interesting. It. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Um, that. And then we've got Tiny Towns, Black Angel, yes. which is, this is in no particular order, by the way. So mm -hmm. uh, that one's probably going to get pushed up to the Might get pushed line, up. But we'll see. We'll higher see. on the list, Black we'll Angel. Um, Underwater Cities. Which we played. Mm hmm. Um, Space Explorers. Which we played. Which we did, and yeah, it was yeah. different. It was, it was different. very different, yeah. Was we different. will definitely uh, showcase that. And then um, Space Space, which we have not played on the channel, but we've played a lot. We've played a lot of Space Space. And we have the, so we got the Shy Pluto expansion. Yeah, we're going to see how that plays so and see if it's see. if it fits with the channel. Yeah, because Space Space that. isn't really something that like we would normally play yeah. on the channel. We do have some Kickstarters right. in waiting, right? Um... We do, I yes. We do. We do. So. And I don't know if I want to. Well, we won't talk about them yet. Yeah, yet. because they're not out yet, but we do. Yeah. Um, which brings us to sort of our next sort of topic mm -hmm. later, but we won't talk about it. We're going to discuss Kickstarters in general yeah. later. We can talk about it now. If All you, right, want. you might as well roll it into this well. section yeah, because yeah, yeah. It, let's, it is, let's talk about it it is important. Okay. So, in regards to Kickstarters, and this is my own personal opinion, we didn't, <laughs> we didn't really talk a lot about this, but I think, I think okay. we're both kind of feeling the same way. I think there are certain periods of the year where a lot of Kickstarters come out, right? And it, it almost releases at the same exact time. And they all release around the same few weeks, right? Like there's a certain window of time where they all need to come out. So we'll get contacted by designers, publishers, mm -hmm. what have you, and they want us to do a playthrough of the Kickstarter. And it's great, it's wonderful. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, there's only so much time we have to devote to these playthroughs and these films. So like right. we, we've been getting them out once a week at best i think yeah. our, our normal rate of video yeah. uh uploads and, and i think I'd, I'd like to improve that mm -hmm. but it's it's very challenging in the sense that at certain points of the year all we're putting out are playthrough previews yeah and which are it was just and it's frustrating i know for for you guys too because you're the ones watching and a lot of times like okay well that looks like a cool game but i can't get it and i probably right. won't get it for another year right. or something and then it's not really useful for people that watch it later on because rules change mm -hmm. you know so um and i would say we probably spend more time per video on kickstarters yes. even the small ones because the rules aren't complete most of the time. Mm -hmm. um, you have to ask a lot of questions. There's no other videos usually to help you. No primers, yeah. Play. Um, so you're really kind of make, trying to make sure you've got everything right um, so that you're showing the game well. Yeah, they're definitely um, the most challenging. They're very, very challenging. So for that reason, we've been very selective with, with the Kickstarters that we mm -hmm. are choosing to do. And I think we will continue, and I feel like a broken record saying this, but I feel like we'll continue to be more yeah. selective. I um, think expect to that. see less Kickstarters and more full produced games yeah. on the channel. Right. Uh, that's for sure. Like, yeah. I think we have to do this only because I we both enjoy getting full production games out on the channel yeah. more than we do getting Kickstarters out. Now we right. have a lot of relationships with a lot of publishers mm -hmm. that we've been doing Kickstarters for years with that we're going to try to maintain that. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah. and unfortunately, a lot of the new ones coming in or trying to break in, we just don't have time for it anymore. Right. So we're going to be probably turning a lot more away, just, yeah. just an FYI. Yeah. Well, and there's like a lot more coming in too, yeah. which is great. I mean, yeah. it's a good, I think it's fantastic. And it, it's unfortunate because like you want to help, at least we want to help people that are getting into like game design mm -hmm. and all that kind of thing. But you, there's just so much. Yeah, and, and, and we, we try to stick to, kick, to Kickstarter games that fit 
our audience. Right, right? exactly. Fit our style. We're not going to do can, you might like. a two-player <laughs> combative type game right. that just, you know, where we're attacking each other. Exactly. And like, we've turned those away oh, yeah. many, many times. Yeah. And it's just not some, or miniatures on a board where we're right. rolling dice, killing each other the whole or game. Or party games. Or, or party yeah, games or like any that. of that type of stuff. That just, that's just right. not what we play yeah. on the channel. Mm -hmm. We do play these outside of the channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just don't think with two people, a lot of them really translate well. In a, in a playthrough format. In our format. Right? Yeah. So so, um, so that being said, I'll um, I'll talk briefly about like Kickstarter requests mm -hmm. and stuff for those of you who kind of watch the channel or hopefully you're watching the channel if you're sending us Kickstarter requests. Yes. I doubt like some people I'm like you don't watch our channel. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. Uh, but if you're if you're looking to submit a Kickstarter request or something, um, we had put up a form online. People could fill out. Nobody uses it, or if they use it, they don't fill in all the stuff yeah, that we need. Yeah, it's kind of clunky. Kind of like really clunky. So you can just send us an email. Send us an email. A Kickstarter thing, um, and we'll do our best to get back. Right. If if we don't get back, it's it's not that we haven't read the email and, right. and didn't really want to get back mm -hmm. to you. It's just that we've get we get a lot of emails, so we get it's a lot of these a lot, requests, yeah. and just managing the inbox is a bit mm -hmm. rough for us right now. Mm -hmm. So don't be offended, but if we don't get back to you, it's probably because we are trying to figure out a, a, a nice way to say probably not going to do your Kickstarter or we yeah. just haven't gotten to sending that email that says sorry we're just not we're not going we don't have time for it or it just doesn't look like it's going to fit our channel. Right. Um, if there's no rules attached, if there's no um, a booklet attached, mm -hmm. if there's no images attached, if it's just a general hey I yeah. have a game can you guys kickstart this yeah. video for me? I, yeah. We're not even going to respond to that. I will say that, yeah. and then that, that was what I was going to interject with is that I have a much higher response rate for um, folks that write in with rules attached, with something that clearly isn't like a template that was like, mm -hmm. hey, here's my game. It's like Tier Ant Live Games, like here's my game. Yeah. But you know, if you, and I put this in the forum too that I put online, and, and again, not a lot of people use it, but like explain to us why you think our audience is a good fit for the game. You know what I mean? Or why you think that it would be something that we would enjoy, or whatever. Or why it fits the channel. Or why, yeah. yeah, why it fits the channel. So you know, you'll probably have a higher rate if you can um, kind of give us a little bit more information. Yeah, because um, yeah, we don't have time to dig through a yeah. lot of that information yeah, to figure yeah. it out, and only to. to and then to I always feel bad, just I'm like, oh, we didn't write back to this yeah, email, we feel, and then I'm we looking do feel at bad. it, and I'm it's... like, no, this was definitely sent to like massive amounts of other yeah. contributors too. Which so. we get. That's a business it's, strategy, oh, totally, and, and it totally, totally makes sense. We're not yeah, against yeah. it. It's just no. that. We're not going to respond to all of this, right? Yeah. Now there are certain publishers that we've been working with for years who yes. don't necessarily send us this stuff, but we know that when we get the prototype, it's yeah. going to have all that. Exactly. Because right, we right. know the quality yeah. of the production and we know what's coming, right. and we, we've worked with them in the past. So that's that, mm -hmm. that's not who we're talking about. We're talking to those of you who haven't really worked with us yet. Yeah. And know what sort of we expect and how how things work. Out. Yeah. So it's more like just setting expectations for that's those all. of you who don't know. Yep. Um, and then, but I will say this. So and this actually, I'm like all over the place on yeah. our on our. Little thing right now but I want to talk about other ways that we'll be able to do um, Kickstarter coverage and talking about things like Fleet Dice which we may not play on the channel mm -hmm. um, but other avenues to do that so okay. I, at this point I want to talk about the podcast all right all right the podcast back to my back book. to your journal back to my list. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay, so I want to talk about podcasts. We, um, I think the last podcast episode we ever did was in like 2017 at some point. Possibly. Around Christmas time or something, I think. Possibly, yeah. um, But the reason why I bring that up is because every time we, we meet people and we talk to people, it's always like, what happened to podcasts? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I had no idea anybody was listening to the podcast. Yeah. So um, we've been giving it some thoughts, and it's something that we'd like to bring back. Um, I've been really brainstorming how I want to do that and what content I think is going to be valuable. We definitely don't want to just sit there and like talk about what we already do on the channel. Exactly. So, yeah. but we think it might be a really appropriate way to talk about some games that we're playing off the channel that we're not playing on the channel. That makes sense. Um, things we're playing in bigger groups, um, things that we've been playing with the kids and with um, family and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then also other industry stuff 
you yeah. know, so Maybe some news, um, some up starting Kickstarters that we're yeah. interested in. And right. And like that, that would yeah. be a really good place where I, I feel like we might be able to provide value to those people who maybe we can't do a playthrough of your Kickstarter. But maybe if it looks interesting, we can mention it on the podcast. Sure. Or if we've got, you know, other stuff we want to talk to you guys about, we can put it on the podcast. Yeah. Um, I would love, love, love to do like interviews and things like that eventually. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Uh, one thing that we do want to do on the podcast, and I had I had teased this on Instagram a couple of weeks ago, mm. um, is some questions from all of you guys. So um, we get we get a lot of questions about like our our favorites and top tens and stuff like that. That's certainly stuff that we could cover on the podcast. I think so. Yeah. Um, but more in depth than that, if you are looking for a certain kind of game for a certain type of situation or um you know you want our advice on on something of that ilk then i think that would be a really cool um segment on the podcast or maybe a day of the podcast that yeah. we dedicate just to like questions from you guys so we did get a bunch of questions in <laughs> from the email um uh, from uh, when i posted that like two weeks ago mm -hmm. uh, if you still have if you have other questions please send them in um be creative don't you know if if you we can stay away from like What's your top 10 games or like, you know, something like that. Uh, it's probably best. Anything you want to know. Just anything throw it know. out there um, um, and we'll go questions. through the list. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah, it sounds anything good. Anything else you want to say about the podcast? No, it's coming back. Well, it, it's actually really, compared to the video playthroughs, the podcast so is easy. so easy to do it for is. us because we have all the equipment. Right. Uh, and, and, it, and we can turn those around fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. What we always found challenging was coming up with the, the, the fresh content that we felt people were going to take value out of. Right, right. Uh, or take away something yeah, yeah. with, or, or want to come back and listen to another episode, mm -hmm. right? And it's just, you know, that, it's tough for us because a lot of our passion goes into the playthroughs. Right. And to have what's left over. Yeah. We, and we, have, we always have like some, some of these pretty deep conversations about yeah. games in general or what we're thinking about, you know, with the industry and stuff like that. And I think it's it's good information that we could kind of share right. with all of you. Not just like at our kitchen table with right. the two of us. But, like. but so you can actually hear, you know, sort of, you know, just our thoughts. And, and, yeah. and, you know, if that interests you, that's great. So we'll, Absolutely. See, we'll see how it goes. Um, and the, the other thing, the other kind of turning point reason why we decided to go back and, and try this again is that there is a lot more support for um, data and um, analytics and stuff for podcasting now than there was even two years ago mm -hmm. or even a year ago. So uh, we're going to try it and see how it goes. It, it's always tough when we yeah. don't know who's listening. Okay. So we'll see. All but, right. but yeah, so that's coming back. All right. Podcast. All right. Good. So we crossed that off. We talked about the playthroughs. Let's talk about, should we talk about, about products. You want to go into products now? We can. I think we should do 4.5 first. Yes. Oh, let's do 4.5. Yes, because we're talking was, about... that was 4. I put, I put 4 or 5, and then I was like, oh, we should really put 4. Yeah, so... So in, in, the, in the realm of other things that we haven't had time to do, but hope to have more time to do yes. very soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so every con we go to, we run into <laughs> Tom Vassell. And we always uh, get into a conversation, and, and it always ends with, you know, you know, when are you guys coming back to the, the board, board game, game breakfast? breakfast? Uh, we want you to contribute to more stuff, and we are all about it, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, and we, we always were, feel terrible. Like we did it like a year ago, right? And I we, we think, were, yeah, it it, again, ago. it was we we stopped everything. Yeah, right, right after all that stuff went down last year. Sure. Um, but we were contributing pretty regularly up until that point. Yep. Um, with like a two minute segment. Right. Yeah, we were going episode. like weekly or every other week. We we yeah. definitely put a handful of, of content out there, right? <laughs> yeah. So of episodes, and you know, we definitely found it enjoyable. It's fun. It's different. It kind of takes us out of our our mold and, and gets yeah. us thinking about what what can we do in two minutes that's kind of valuable, right? That that's just very. It's really hard, right? We can do a two yeah. hour two and a half hour video like it's nobody's business, but yeah. you want us to keep the two minutes, and we can't even do an intro, right? right. So it's really tough, but it's it's a cool challenge. Mm -hmm. The issue we've run into is just time, right? right. And, and just being able to get uh, to a point where we feel we've got enough creative energy and enough mm -hmm. time to get through our normal review right. schedule, get through work, get through all right. the other stuff we have going on in our real lives yeah. with our real jobs yeah. and all this other stuff. So we are definitely coming back, though. Yes. To the breakfast. Yes. We are absolutely going to come up with some... What, what I really want to do is come up with a two-minute sort of templated segment that mm -hmm. we can repeat mm -hmm. every week see yes i what my idea is and i guess you guys can all gauge in since you're part of this conversation sure. right now but what i would like to do is 
um, kind of with the questions and stuff that we're getting from the folks, mm -hmm. pull one of those maybe, you know what I mean, a week yeah. or something, and really dive in for two minutes, dive into a really good response okay. to one of those questions. Not a question like, what's your top five games or, sure. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. where'd you guys meet or something like that. But like, you know, I have a friend who is not into gaming and she always hangs out at our game nights, but like, but what do we get her to play? Or like, yeah. you know, I have whatever, like those kinds of questions. Mm -hmm. uh, stuff that really gets us, we love thinking about that kind of thing and getting people into the hobby. Um, you know, or if you're looking for uh, some kind of organize, organization solution or something like that, or something we can kind of talk to you about for two minutes. Two minutes, yeah. So that we will also expand upon in the podcast. Yes. Yeah, so Do you agree. know what I mean? So. so it'll be like that's kind of what I'm what I'm envisioning. Okay. But but we'll see yep. how that comes. We'll see. But we will be back. We will be back on the breakfast. Yes, we're very excited so. to do that. We just need to figure out how and when. Yes. All right. So Soon. <laughs> Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, section. next thing. All right, so. Next segment. Next segment. Okay, so in light of all of the. This like worked out really nicely. I think made so. this list, but. It was a nice. You've even written it out more beautifully. A nice than, segue. Yes, then this segue. Yeah. <laughs> she reminded me of those scooters from Indianapolis. They weren't segways. Like they weren't segways. They were scooters. I know, but they were, that's what it reminded me of. They mm. were so cool. Okay, anyway, um, I digress. So we, uh, in talking about all these things, we want to do um, all the things that we have wanted to do for the past year that we haven't been able to do. Um, we have we've come to a turning point mm. in the channel. Yes, we've given this. What's pretty funny? We should actually take a step back and talk okay. about how this all came about, right? <laughs> so if we go back uh, weeks ago. Yeah. We actually were thinking about, you know, how do we keep continue to manage all of these reviews and playthroughs, yes. right? As well as managing everything else going on in our, in our lives. And, and a lot of yeah. a lot of people in this, I guess, in this segment who who do right. these videos and playthroughs right. and all that stuff in the contributor world, you know, you see a lot of people push really hard yeah. and then they fade out. Right. Because they burn out. Yeah, right? exactly. Um, and and we definitely don't want to get to that point. And we're nowhere near that point. No, so, no, so, no. So rest no, no, assured, no, no. We're, not, we're not going anywhere. Yeah. But what we what we feel guilty about, at least I do, uh -huh. is not being able to continue to provide as much content as I would like for Absolutely. the channel. Absolutely. I, I, I agree 100%. And I think that's sort of like holding the channel back from it's, being bigger than it can yeah, be. Yeah, because it's you, you have all these all these things that you want to get to and it whether it's like games or like how do we how do we provide more value to you guys who are watching mm -hmm. to the community as a whole you know we go to cons and stuff and i'm like what 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 else should we be doing or what else could we be doing right because i feel like we're at that point now where we we've been doing the playthroughs for a long time and we've kind of got it down to a, a science mm -hmm. you know getting it out getting it edited getting right. it, it out. still takes, it takes hours and hours a lot of time but it takes a lot less hours yeah. than it used to right and so now we're kind of like okay well we've got but we've got it kind of on lock mm -hmm. right so what else can we do and how else can we manage right to do more so we started throwing around the ideas of how great it would be yeah if we could get more videos on the channel from other people. Yeah. Potentially, yeah. right? Potentially, yeah. Like more contributions to the channel. Right, right, right. Well, exactly. So it's like we're only two people. Right. And it's and I think the, the, one of the reasons why this conversation started is because when we have our meetings with folks at, at like Gen Con, for example, mm -hmm. and we get the emails from the um, the publishers or whatever and they're like just let us know how many from your team will be attending yeah you know and it's like all two of us yes <laughs> will be there just us <laughs> just us we, we, we are the team <laughs> right so for a long we time we don't have a staff that's like around I here. know like a light Hold, guy somebody holding like... a boom mic over you right now like okay <laughs> that would be really okay cool, Chuck though. just a little bit you're almost in frame you need to back up a little bit so we don't have that we don't have oh, we like have an intern. like a dolly we don't have somebody over giving me makeup I, know, but I do that. Besides you. <laughs> so it really, yeah, so it's just us. And yeah. it's it's really, it's a lot to manage. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, you know, who it's not, it, the only people suffering here are really the viewers because they're not right. getting as much content as they probably yeah, want, yeah, as yeah. you probably want. Right. So we, we came upon yeah. 
an opportunity. Yeah, so this was, um, we, we, people reach out to us a lot um, for advice on like starting a channel, lighting, like all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and we, we were reached out by, <laughs> to, by, to by, um, anyway, um, two folks who, um, who have their own channel. Uh, the channel is called Before You Play. Mm -hmm. um, they're doing very, very much the same thing that we are doing. Um, and more. They do other more, things as well. Yeah. Like in a, in a different way. And, um, and you know, they reached out to us asking about lighting and stuff like that. And, um, and I was like, well, I've never heard of these people before. And I was watching their videos and stuff. And I was like, I think I, t I might have actually texted you yeah. in the middle of the day, and I was like, did you get this email? And I was like, they're like a cooler version of us. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay. They're like they're like a West Coast version of us. And I, I was know. Like, That's interesting. It was interesting. So, you know, we pulled it up, and I, and I was like, why don't we reach out to them and find out? Yeah, yeah. You know. Well, yeah, I think what, we were talking about it. I was like, you what, know. What, what they think about certain we kind of both had this idea at the same time because it was one of those it was one of those situations where like you've been talking about something for a while we i want to put this out here too we were not actively looking no to add anybody to the channel right um or or get help or anything like that it was just kind of like an idea that we were sort of floating around mm -hmm. and then these folks contacted us and we were like well let's have a conversation with them and kind of see what they're all about um and so we did and they're like super cool very down to earth, very, very much the, the kind of have the same, like, um, I don't know, like vibe as we do, I guess. I think as that's what I got. Like, yeah. They just seem really cool, really happy, enjoy They're playing games. They're into the same other. games We're we are, like totally. We are. Um, and more, and like, more, yeah. we, you, so anyway, so we, we posited to them, um, here's something we've been thinking about. What would you guys think? They have a very a small channel right now. It, you know, I think they only have a couple videos up. Um, a handful. Yeah, they're adding more every they're day. Though, so they're adding more. Yeah, yeah. They have a pretty good yeah, yeah. rate. Uh, again, their channel is called Before You Play. Mm -hmm. um, their names are Monique and Naveen, um, and they they um, we had asked them like, you know, is this something you'd be interested in doing? Like, maybe do a game that would suit our viewers. Um, this could be a way that we could provide value to other contributors. Mm -hmm. You know, in a way that you know kind of makes us feel like. I don't know because I feel like we you know we do have like I can tell you what kind of lights we have and stuff, but you know it's kind of neat to see people kind of where we were like four years ago. Yeah, in yeah, a way, yeah. Kind of coming into their own and finding their own groove. People and, who love the hobby. Yeah, yeah. Feel that they have a a passion for teaching games and right. demonstrating games, and then translating that into video right. for YouTube, and, and that that. They have all those mechanics, right? Yeah. All, that whole chemistry is there, right? Um, and it and it very much has a similar vibe to our stuff, which is yeah. really what drew us towards them, mm -hmm. right? So I think yeah. So we talked about it with them. Yeah, we did. We offered an opportunity to to contribute to the channel, right? right. So and they agreed. And they <laughs> they were like, believe it or not, they were like, yes. I was like, wow, yeah. okay, that's so, cool. Yeah, it was pretty neat. So so we're gonna we wanted to kind of make that announcement to you all obviously before you see two new faces pop up um so the the way we're working together is that they are going to think they're actually they've already filmed their first mm -hmm. play um playthrough um yeah I mean, we picked, we won't tell you what we won't is. tell you what it is but we we <laughs> picked a game that you know from their collection that right. we would normally do a playthrough of exactly that we just will not get to right right so this is really going to expand the offering of games mm -hmm. that we're going to be able to provide right. you on the channel stuff that we just wouldn't play or get to exactly you actually will get to see played on this channel but that are still content that we think you will like yes because they're things that we would like to play or that we have played and that we would normally do if we could so. yeah so um, and great. the other thing that and you know they it was funny because we had we had a conversation with them about kickstarter too and they've are, already they were already like, like yeah. Yeah, kickstarters um but i think that they're also into a little bit more of like the they don't mind the, the take, take that, that yeah. a little bit. Um, so for those of you who are cool with that and wanna you, you want to see that. more of that, yeah. then they will probably be able to feature some of that um, on our channel. And then and then also managing their own channel as yeah. well. So what we're really hoping is that if you like what you see here and you like what you see with them on the channel, that you'll also jump over to their channel yeah, and check out, some and of their check out yeah. what they're doing. Because um, because they're doing, we like we don't do like unboxings and right. we don't do... 
Um, they do how to plays how as well. How to plays. Yeah, you know yeah, I, mean? yeah. I think they're doing some of those. Yeah, really good um, quality stuff. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely go check Very it out. Clear. So, like I said, they're like they're like us, but like way cooler. Yes. <laughs> they do a lot more stuff. So, but what yeah. we're gonna we're gonna keep to with their content for mm -hmm. our channel is the playthroughs, right? Because right. that, that's really what our channel is about. It's about playthroughs and yeah. with thoughts about the game and two right? players. Yeah, it was two funny because they contacted us with the game that they're gonna be playing, and they were like, "Well, there's there's some modifications for two people. Is that okay?" Mm -hmm. And we were like. Yes. yes, that's like, exactly what we're That's what we do. Like, if the so. game has a variant for two, we want to showcase that because, right. you know, you folks come here to see how a game plays with two because that's what you're looking yes. for. And that's what we'll maintain. Yeah. So don't, don't think of this as our channel changing fundamentally or anything like that. I don't think It's so. literally just us expanding the library of videos right. that you'll get to see on this channel. Yeah, and I yeah. think this is a really good step in the right direction I think so too. to expand what this channel has to offer the viewers, yeah. right? Yeah, the viewers and and the community, I think, as a whole. So, yeah, so absolutely. We're, That's, we're all um, about that. Yes. Yeah, so, and I will say this. So, I will say this much again. We were not looking for these people. Yeah. <laughs> we're still not looking. We're not looking. We're to not do actively this, recruiting. Like, yes. Oh, so I want to make that very, very, very yes. crystal clear because I have a feeling we're going to get like emails about this yeah yeah um, and I, yeah, we not... don't want to have to sit there and, and turn people down for no good reason other than the fact that please like, don't make me email you we, yeah, we're <laughs> we're trying this yeah. out you know exactly this, this may go well and you know what if it, if it works out wonderfully mm -hmm. then down the road we'll yeah. be maybe we'll be open to bringing in more contributors and sort of like expanding yeah. this sort of network right 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 because like the way i see it is like and we had told them this too is like come on the channel do some stuff if you want and then when it's your when you feel like okay well like our time is done now you mm -hmm. know what i mean then you move on it's kind of like a yeah you know, like an just, intern well it's just something. like it's it's a <laughs> partnership it is, that exactly. doesn't have a, an end date to it and right, if, if exactly. they do one video and say you know we, we're done with this this is right. nonsense you know we're, we're not very demanding we're just we're like not. whenever you get a video <laughs> up just let us know and we'll, we'll put it on the video yeah. on the channel so like it, it's it's a very open uh partnership yes and we hope it really works well we hope you really we get some value you out enjoy of it. it and we think that you will yeah um be nice yes and, them, and, and let us know you know how how, how it is like you know if you yeah, love exactly. it great you know yeah. whatever we're open to everything so yeah uh, but we I think, think we think cool. it'll be really good i'm really excited about it i'm really 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 excited so all right cool all right excellent big update yeah. all right let's move on next segment all right so for the final segment the final segment we're gonna stuff you can yeah. buy yeah so we're gonna talk about merch yeah right merch. now we've been we've been putting some videos up recently about a lot of the different bits and pieces yes. and, and little accessories and stuff that we sh we showcase stuff that we put on our table um, there are a number of different manufacturers mm -hmm. and designers who are making all sorts of really cool stuff for board gaming and the mm -hmm. hobby and uh, a lot of these things make the, the gameplay experience and the storage of games much easier much easier yeah. much more convenient um and we, we definitely love this type of stuff yeah so uh and we, we showcase it and, and a lot of these um companies are looking just to get some exposure to their products and mm -hmm. you know we don't charge for that yeah so we just put it out there and say here folks this is these are some things that we've come across these are some things if that we we're, like it especially if it's yeah, stuff we use if we so. like it and we'll use it then yeah. we'll show it right but if it's not just like hey this is something that somebody wants us to show you right. we, we think it's terrible yeah. but here it is right so this isn't a commercial per se because we're not getting paid for this no. we're not getting any kickbacks for this so don't take it as that just take it as hey here's something cool do what you want with the information right <laughs> literally this stuff shows up at our door we, yeah. don't, we don't even ask for yeah a lot of stuff we don't ask for so. but you know but if we think it's a pretty decent product and we think it's oh, pretty yeah, cool we're, gonna we're just going to show yeah. it you know yeah take a look at it you know if, if you don't want to hang around for this stuff on the video yeah you know, feel free to stop but I think some of this is cool. Well, it's worth yeah. listening to. And also people have been asking. So and people have been asking. Start, I want to start with this shelf. Yes. Only because I don't want to forget the most important piece of the shelf. Yes. Guidance, so, advice-wise. Guidance so. and advice. So we were approached by Box Throne. Box Throne. Not Dice Throne. Not Dice Throne. Box, Box Throne. It's a company who did a Kickstarter for this shelving system you see behind us, right? Right. So they wanted us to literally just showcase their shelving. Mm -hmm. We love shelving. We do. Who doesn't love shelving for organization? Uh, so we said, why not? Right? So they sent us this Box King. This Box King, yeah. Uh, and it, 
obviously is a pretty big shelving system that is completely modular. Mm -hmm. You put it comes in pieces. You literally put it together. Uh, and you adjust the shelves to whatever height you yep. want. The shelves come, you can order them in different colors yeah. uh, to, to your taste. And you literally just screw the thing together and there it goes. Right. So we, we put the set together, filled it with games, and as you can see, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's um the, the cool thing about it is that your your games can be stored, like that's the shtick, right? Yeah. Is that you're not storing them vertically, you're not stacking them on top of each other. Yes. Each one has its own little slot, like a paper filing. I will say I do thing. love the fact that you don't have to store them vertically because I know. Yeah, as you saw from our Twitter post or was it Twitter? Was we it don't use Twitter or Instagram, Instagram. thing? Yeah, Facebooky something. <laughs> well, one of those social media things that she posts There's on all the time. Ones. I don't follow that stuff. Showed all of our shelves, our, our new organizational yeah. system, and everything. If you notice, is, is stacked vertically. Right. But when you pull thing. that game off the shelf to play it, every piece in there is in a pile on the yeah. bottom of the box, and it's a it's a pain. If I'd love to stack them horizontally, right. but they end up sinking and, and, and damaging the top that's of the worse, boxes yeah. and that bothers me to no end yeah so we deal with messy pieces right unless right. you have a lot of plastic bags which right. a lot of games don't come with enough plastic bags to hold all the bits and pieces so there you go so there you go hence box king right. one key yes, if you decide to go is, with your if you piece. decide to go with your box king um because of the nature of the way you stack them they and you want to keep them all flush to the front like that's mm -hmm. back if you, if you stock shelves or have ever stocked yeah. shelves in your life <laughs> you'll understand the facing right when you yeah. face a shelf you pull everything to the front so it looks like the shelf is full you do the same with your board game shelves right you bring everything to the front so it's all yeah. uniform and yeah. it looks pretty but if you think about it from a, from an engineering standpoint the back of the shelf is empty no weight. all the weights yeah. in the front that shelf is going to well, and, fall and the integrity of the shelf too like you think about like our the calyx and they should be but they're not bolted to bolted the walls to the these calyx that we have um but the calyx is sturdy enough like on the sides yeah and it, it's got enough structural integrity that with a whole bunch of games on there it's not it's most likely not going to go anywhere right unless you're really really right. tugging on these, it these the this, shelving system itself is not heavy enough no to maintain the you know a solid base right so you do need to screw these to the wall please do it yes yeah, so yeah. we definitely advise yeah. you screw this. so we we definitely bolted it to the wall once it's bolted to the wall legit things not moving and mm -hmm. it's great um but we highly recommend you do that um, if you're not somebody who normally screws those to the wall, you should. Yeah. We definitely should screw our couch to the wall. Now, like, no, no, no. Especially with the summer. Yeah, so yeah. we you definitely I advise, especially if you have little ones in the house, yeah. you'd like to climb yes. this type yeah. of stuff, make sure you yeah. screw your shelves to the wall. So yeah. that's just a public service announcement. Oh, it's a PSA. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Okay. Box, Box King, King by right. Box Throne. Go check it out. Um, oh, most importantly, when More they yes the when the they away. approached us with the box oh king, yes very important they said if anybody and, and you put in a code right and and normally we would say yes put in the code what's the code Ant Lab it's games? i don't know we're gonna we'll, put we'll, we'll post it like we'll post the video yeah. uh, there's there's a there's a promotional code you put in if you if you're ordering this system you want to go with it and you and you want to put in our promotional code here's the catch when you put in a promotional code it's gonna it normally would give you a five percent discount um, and then in addition to that, we would get 5% yes, of the was, sale. That was the, that was the pitch. That's the pitch, right? You know, we don't take money. <laughs> so we were immediately turned off. No, we're not going to, we don't want to do this. We don't right. want people to buy stuff, put it in their code and us get money off of that. Right, that right. just feels, it feels slimy to me. feels dirty no judgment. Right? to us. Not if you, yeah. you know, it's not, it doesn't make you a bad person from, from our perspective. That's not, that's the echoes against everything we do on this channel. Right? Yeah. So what we said, we'll do it if the people who buy it and put yes. in these codes can get our 5% yes, on top exactly. of that. So, so we were like, just give them the 5% also. So now yeah. you get 10%. 10%, off you get your, you you're want. getting our five. Yeah. We get <laughs> absolutely nothing for you putting in our code. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Right. So don't think that we're trying to pitch you on this yeah. for our own benefit because we make nothing on this. We've given you our 5%. So you're going to get 10% yeah. if you put our code in. Yes. That's all we're saying. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Excellent. Right. Next. Next is the bag. Talk about the bag. Okay. Yes. So let's bring it up. So we have this here thing arrived. the well, board. <laughs> the go boards. ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Introduce it. So this is the boards and bits traveler which right? you may have seen over yes. the years. Normally, when we travel with games, it's either in my backpack that fits one game. 
or my backpack that fits zero kids. Yeah. Or it's tinier. in a uh, in one of those bags we get from buying. Well, games. you saw if you follow us, you saw the Instagram post of me yeah. with like ninety bags. You know, like the Gen Con over. board game bags that yeah. everybody gets right. when you buy, especially if you go to Cool Stuff Inc. Remember, did you see the guy at Gen Con that had a whole jacket made out of those uh, bags? He had like a blazer made if of cool that stuff. you're man who, who did that and you watch our channel, I applaud you. I, we applaud. <laughs> it was a legit blazer <laughs> awesome. sewn out of cool stuffing blue bags. Yeah. So it was awesome. I hope if you were at Gen Con you saw that and got yeah. to witness that. So what is so cool about this bag? It is padded. Yeah, so you will hard. not, oh, like hard padding, you will not crush your games. Uh, we just threw two Pretty good big game. So like Legacy, ones, yeah. uh, Pandemic Legacy is a pretty wide game. Mm -hmm. uh, it does fit some games. But the niche with this bag that we thought was pretty cool, um, we haven't tried it yet though. So when we And I, I told him that too. I was like, we maybe we'll talk about it at another time once we have once we do yeah, once it, we can but... we can talk about it, right? So it does have an adjustable uh, divider inside. But yeah. the, the pitch on this bag is that if you want to go to a game night mm -hmm. and you want to bring like 20 games with you right. like that's a pretty big game night that's yeah. like an all-nighter um you leave the boxes home right put all of your components in like a a gallon size ziploc i'd right. say and then put them in and you'll be able to fit theoretically 20 games in here yeah don't know if that's true or not i'm sure somebody tested it but yeah. there you go well and the idea i guess is that like again the whole bag is hard yeah so it's like you have one big game box for for all, all of your, your all of your bits and Hence. pieces Boards. My bits and, bits and pieces. So and it's yes. also got like this thing in front. So you've got like room for all of your stuff. Or I guess they say like they're like toiletries or whatever. Right. My toiletries are not fit in this bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if your toiletries fit in any bag we have in this house. Suitcase. So there you go. That's the traveler by boards and bits uh spiel geek is the website you can go check these yeah, out yeah. If, if you're They're in the market for the a bag, same folks right? that were responsible for that outburst table those little table tables that you that flipped that we, we did them in a yeah. video i think yeah. our last one so yeah, yeah. there you go uh last piece you want to talk about is the merch our merch our own personal merch all right take us through our merch um, the, I don't really have much to say on this. <laughs> well, uh, build well, here's what happened. I so I went on. We we have an Etsy shop. Mm -hmm. It's called Tabletop Threads. Um, it has our like official Ant Lab game stuff because you guys want mugs and stuff. So sure. we, we sell these like mugs and T-shirts and whatnot. Um, but uh, the reason why I had started it originally is because there wasn't a lot of like cool like girl like gamer t-shirts and stuff mm -hmm. like that um i think maybe there's more now i haven't really looked, i didn't really even see any of gen con that i liked um so i started making my own <laughs> yeah. um but um all those are up there too i we we sell them like here and there kind of thing and then like everything stopped all of a sudden i was thinking about it the other day and i was like it's really weird like i haven't gotten any notifications from the etsy shop lately and um i went in and like everything was it was like not deactivated but like you need to renew the listings oh. so i'm just like a bad etsy person i guess yeah. so i reactivated all the listings so now you can go back if you if you're so inclined and um and get some t-shirts if you need gaming just looking for some gaming gear some gamer gear yeah, so just throw it out there yeah. shops refreshed if you were if you went there and it didn't work yeah go check it out why yeah. not right yeah. uh we do have a couple of other bits and pieces that we're not allowed to disclose yet <laughs> From our good friend Pete, would kill you. Pete from Board Game Boost. Uh, yeah, so, and we do apologize when we. Oh, yeah. We, we talked up. about the Caddy Max, and because everybody asks about this thing a thousand times, it's from Board People Game Boost. People even asked about it after we made the video. It's crazy how popular this thing has become, but it really is. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't keep showing it and keep using it if we yeah. didn't really enjoy using it, and if it wasn't so awesome. Um, but it literally shut Pete's shop down because yeah. he couldn't keep up with the orders and he had to be out of town for a little while, right. so. He's re we, we caught up with Peter Gen Con, uh, and he, he reassured us. We actually over a couple of games that we played yeah. with him. He reassured us that you know he's getting his, his shop back up to stock, getting things going again. So. And he's got brand new inventions. He gave us a couple of new, pike, so. we'll call them prototypes. But yeah. again, this was a prototype. So I know, there yeah, you go. Yeah. These are his prototypes, by the way. And we're strictly not allowed to show. We're them on the we were specifically instructed by Pete: do not show this. <laughs> uh, so we are not. 
um, and we'll leave it at that. So yeah. stay tuned. That'll be that'll be in an Coming upcoming up, video yeah. at some point. So, yeah. uh, but otherwise, I think that wraps up our I update think it does. for now. I think that's pretty good. I think we hit all of our points. All of our agenda so, items. All of our agenda items. Yes. Meeting adjourned. Yes. So if you watch this video, you enjoyed getting all these updates. You like this format. You want to see more of it? Please let us know. And like I said, we'll we'll try. We can make this a quarterly thing. We can mm -hmm. even do it more frequently if we have a lot of things to, to really yeah. uh, talk about. Um, and, and we'll go from there. So, yeah. uh, well, we hope you enjoyed the update. Yes. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See ya.